Hello friends, in this video we will be seeing how to install Hyper-V on Windows 11 Home Edition. Hyper-V comes with all versions of Windows 11 but except Home. But we can enable the Hyper-V on Windows 11 Home too. So we will be seeing all the steps which are necessary in order to install Hyper-V on a Windows 11. So in order to install Hyper-V, the first and the most important thing that we will be doing is that we will be opening a BIOS setup and in that BIOS setup, the first thing that we will be doing is that we will be enabling the virtual technology. So you will be doing it in your PC as I have done in my PC. Okay. After enabling the virtual technology in BIOS, the next thing that we will be doing is that we will be checking it in a control panel. It's been lagging a bit because uh, I am using a virtual box to run this operating system. So after clicking in control panels, we have to click programs and programs and in programs we have to click on programs and features and over there we have to turn on windows features on off link So we will be checking it that whether the Hyper-V is available in it or not. So as you can see that uh, Hyper-V is not available over here. So the next thing that we will be doing is that we will be writing a bash script for enabling all the files which uh, or installing all the files that will require to enable a Hyper-V in a Windows 11 home edition so i have already written the uh, script so what we will do is that we will store it with a dot batch extension so it will be a batch script so i'll store it with dot batch extension and what i'll do is that i will right click on the batch file which is now you can see it on the desktop so i'll right click it and I'll say run as administrator. So I'm clicking run as administrator. This prompt will come. We have to select yes over here. The command prompt will start and it will start executing the script. So it will take more time to run a script. So you have to wait over here. It will install all the files that will require in order to enable the Hyper-V in a Windows 11 Home Edition. So at the end, when it will be installed, We will be getting a screen that whether we need to restart or not. So we will have to say yes over here. And after saying yes, this operating system will restart. So now we have restarted our system. Again, we will go to a control panel. And in control panel, we will search for control panel. Okay. So we'll start control panel. In program sorry. in control panel we have to select programs and in programs we have to select programs and features we can directly click on the option which is available over here directly that is turn on windows 
features and now what we can see that a hyper v option is available over here so we'll click over here and we can see that both the options are available for us so now what we can say that we have successfully installed hyper v in our windows 11 home edition so my friends stay connected with us for more such videos and we will be solving solving all your doubts that you are facing in our particular channel to stay connected with us thank you